Today I will show you how to make an audio spectrum in Filmora 11, so let's get right into it. Place the music on the audio track and add a photo on top. This will be our background. Make sure that it matches the duration of the song, so drag it all the way to the end. I don't want the focus to be on the background, so that's why we will add some blur. To do that, go to effects, search for square blur and place it on the photo. Next I want to create some movement of the photo, so scroll down to filters, click on it and on the shake folder you will find the mild shake effect. Add that on the photo and this is how it will look. I want to lower the brightness of the photo a little, so select it, go to color, down to tone and drag brightness to the left. This is enough. Press OK and go back to media. I have a video of some particles, you can download it using the link in the description and I will add that on top. Keep the project settings, now we have to remove the black background. To do that select the particles, go to compositing and change it from normal to lighten. Now only the particles will be visible. For the particles to match the whole song, right click on them, copy and paste it where they end. Go at the extra part, cut there, right click and delete. Go back at the start and it's time to add another photo. Place that on top. We will change the shape of this photo to a circle, but first I will move it one layer higher. Because we need this layer for later, you will see why. As always extend it so it matches with the other layers. Select it, go back to image first, down to transform and I will lower the scale to around 58%. To create the circle shape, go to mask, select the circle mask and scroll down to adjust it. I will change the width and the height to 60. Now we have a nice circular photo. I want to add some shadow behind, that way it stands out more from the background. So go back to basic, scroll down and click on drop shadow. Let's go a little lower. The shadow right now is on the bottom right side, so we will change the distance to 0, this way it's all around it. Let's increase the opacity to 100 and the blur to how much you want. I think this looks nice. Now we have to create the rotating animation. To do that, go to animation, down to customize, make sure you are at the start of the timeline and add the keyframe there. Then move all the way to the end. Add another keyframe, go down to rotate and make it 360 degrees. If you want it to rotate more, increase the rotation to 720, but I think 360 is enough. This is how it will look. I think it's perfect. Now it's time to add the audio spectrum. Press OK, go to effects, scroll a little higher. And here we have them, audio visualizer. These are all the options that we have and I will go with this one. Place it on top of everything and as you can see it's a little smaller than the photo. To increase the size select it and increase the radius. I will make it 2.7. To see if it fits well make it full screen and check around the borders. 2.7 for this is perfect. The waves are a little small so let's increase the intensity to 1.5 and extend it all the way to the end of the song. If you remember we left a layer empty, because we will add another audio spectrum. Press OK for this, let's find another one that we like. I will go with this one and place it on the empty layer. Right now it's a little too high so let's adjust it, select it. It doesn't fit all the way to the edge, so let's increase the scale to 1.05. And let's bring it down. To do that, go to position Y and drag it to the left. As you can see the waves go behind the photo. You can keep it like that if you want, but I want them to stay lower. So what I will do is lower the intensity. Let's drag it to the left. And this should be enough. Match it with the other layers. So let's go back to the start. And this is the final result. For more tips and tricks make sure to watch this other video.